Hello and welcome to episode 106 of my Let's Play of Final Fantasy XIII on the PC. And in the last episode we arrived at the Tesseract of Orphan's Cradle. Started to make our way through there. We've been given the option to turn back, but f at least for the time being, since we haven't been told we've reached the point of no return, I'm going to keep pushing on and take on these enemies off screen. Oh no, I'm not actually, because there's another one. I didn't see that other guy. If it's just going to be another sacrifice, I was going to leave it, but we've actually got a Veloc cycle. Um, didn't sound right. A Veloc cycle? That'll do. Um, to take on as well. Here, I'm going to try and... I'm going to try and take out the sacrifice first, then deal with the cycle. Hopefully. Something doesn't murder me to death. Um, but I should be able to get a good way of going with this. Yeah, it's quite nasty, that. Um, I might switch to diversity for a turn or so in a minute. Try and keep damage going while doing a little bit of healing. That'll do. And then, come on guys, just finish it off. One more turn of that. Ah, oh, Vanille's not got paste on, that's the problem. Um, right, let's go back to Bully. Um, try and get some more buffs going. I'm not sure if it cleared them or what, but... Um, we don't know a lot about this yet. It seems to be quite tough. Yes, it does seem to be quite tough. Um, let's get everyone healing for a turn there. And switch to Relentless Assault. Cause we've got a lot of debuffs right now. So if I just make sure they're well established. Um, and then maybe spend another turn on Convalescence again. I'm going to switch to Try Disaster. Move on instinct. Follow my and try and take it down. So let's get this gauge filled up. So it, it seems to just be big, like slow but big attacks. But that seems to have worked. Um, so let's get this gauge all the way full. Come on, all the way. All the way full. And we haven't we still found out what it's weak to yet. Um, can we get some more? There we go. That's at least cancelled one of its sets of attacks. Could we get pain on it as well? There we go. Right now you're screwed. Because um, now you bet you can't do anything. That's what I like. It's quite interesting that you can actually fully disable it. Um, a lot of enemies are not... Well, they're immune to that sort of thing. Probably rightfully. Because... It makes it kind of, well, unfair, I guess. I don't know. But yeah, so we're making our way through the Tesseracts. We keep on having to bump into, um, well, well, keep heading towards where the, I don't even know what they were, the three, were they Falsy, maybe? I'm not sure. Kind of kept pointing the way to things. Uh, I'm just gonna check there's nothing laid around here. I'm not being dim, um, but, oh no, you can go down here, or across here. I right, take these on. I'm going to keep this on because there's some interesting little sort of different combinations going on here which are making this a lot more difficult than it might otherwise be. Um, I'm going to try and just use some like area attacks by light just to keep them ticking over. And then we'll switch to try disaster for a turn. Hopefully everyone's got haste. I wasn't actually looking. Um, yeah, there we go. So everyone just get some nice area attacks going. Some big thumb daggers and waterers, that'll do. I shouldn't use water, that was actually silly of me. Um, but yeah, let's go. So, let this assault on the. Actually, why, am I, why am I attacking the only one which isn't staggered? Um, we try and take these out. Let's get that one before it's. There we go. And that one, maybe quickly. Come on. Make the most of these staggers that I've managed to get. I tried to get them all staggered if I could, but I failed somewhat. But. Come on, light. Do it. You should be able to get it finished. That'll do. Right. Now, let's diversify a little bit. And keep Sad alive, maybe. That would be nice. And then go back to Bully. Um, because we've not got haste or anything on most people. I guess one of these must have a D-spell spell. Um, or Dispel spell, should I say. Um, we'll work it out. Could be that other Ouroboron type thing, the Dagonite, because um, Vanille's not really there. She's starting to now focus on doing like uh, actual debuffs rather than just. Okay, this is going to hurt. Um, now, okay, let's try diversity instead. So if light dies, then we're kind of screwed, obviously. So, there we go. Sounds like a um, bit of a metaphor, but yeah. 
There's one thing that's interesting I did, I'd never, never clicked before. I could be wrong because I haven't actually cross-checked it with anything. But apparently, um, the lightning and light in French is Eclair. And then they made her name into Claire, so it kind of all comes round to be to make some level of sense. So I don't know if, it, if it's if, I, if there's some truth into that which I read on TV jokes earlier, then that's quite interesting. But yeah, I thought I'd it off screen, but yeah. Um, I say that's another interesting. It was the anathema attack. It looks like from the sacrifice, which was clearing the haste on people. I was expecting it to be the other way around, and it would be the Oribon, the Dagonites, um, but apparently not. Um, just trying to check as well, because I think I put the wrong one of these on here, on her, didn't I? Yeah, it happens on HP low, which is not what I was after, because I just noticed that, because that's why I picked up another one of. Um, I think I might give her something a bit more... Um, well, if I could make a face useful. Um, let's just see what we've got. That'll probably be good for her. Just keep her like less um don't for less susceptible to status ailments. So yeah, so there was a lift over there which I avoided before. Shall I make my way back across too? No. No. Stop playing silly beggars. And um head down here. So do I stand on this? Yep, and just leave everyone behind, obviously. Kiss, why not? They'll, they'll make the way down. Probably after I, um, like, you know, there we go, yeah. Move along a bit and not look at them. Ooh, there's a new enemy down there. Right. Um, save one of these quickly. And let's go and kill one of those down there. So, oi, who are you? You seem bad. Or oh, evil. Or dangerous by Gilgamesh, Sanctum Templar. That'll do. That'll do nicely. So, um, yeah, just go with a bully for a start. He seems to be susceptible to plenty of stuff. Um, yeah, deep texts. He's got on D shell poison. He's doing fine. Um, in peril there as well. I switched to it. This I was, I was actually expecting this to be quite tricky, but he doesn't seem to be making much of a fight of it. I'm guessing it'll be more tricky once you start putting him in with about five or six other different people, but Let's go. Um, if we go all out here, ah, he's got dispel. We're just gonna get that off. So, yeah. Oh well. Um, yeah. So even without the jump on him there, that was very straightforward. Um. A little bit disappointing, actually. You look kind of cool. I'm guessing if we get a few of them together, it'll become more dangerous. Um, anything down here to get? Okay, which way am I actually supposed to be going? I might want to go back up the other way, actually. So I'm trying to collect all the items around here as well while I'm on. Um, because they'll be obviously pretty good, whatever we've got left now. But we've got a bunch of these. And uh, there's another couple of these up here as well. Let's take these on on screen, to just bunch them together. So, um, yeah. So just go for, well, I'm just going to go all out, basically try and get those Dagonites first before they really get themselves, they are too late. So they always seem to do that, obviously, first attack, the power splits. Now if I can get Vanille to start counteracting that, um, just some dispels. That would be superb, she seems to be dispelling the other one, I guess. Not sure why she isn't going for the one we're attacking. Um, yeah, she's got that one dispelled now. I'll go for this one. A little bit. I'm going to try and not get her to heal until that, that's happened. There we go. Right, then switch to diversity before I die. Hopefully. Um, there we go. Starting to do some damage now as well. So, just keep going with that. Seems to be a fairly solid way of working. Switch maybe back to this though. Come on, you can do it. There we go. Put you back into it. Let's try relentless assault to finish off the Dagonite. It doesn't like lightning, that's for sure. Um unfortunately that's the element rather than the um the character, but 
Oh, oh, just noticed also that she's nearly dead, so that's bad. We can just have one turn of attack and that'd be great. Put a little bit of healing going with it. And that's her back in the green level, 5,000 HP. Now, I think we were able to pretty much throw the kitchen sink at this guy. Okay, the debuff, so we just do that while we're buffing ourselves up, then we'll just go all out and finish him off. So come on, Vanille. Oh, that'll do. That's nice. So we've got pain on him. Um, so we fog on him. We've got D shell. We've got D protect. We've got poison. We've got imperil. Right now he's pretty much done for. Um, so whatever you do now, even though I think you had your mana drive to spell, I'm gonna do this now before you have a chance to try and use it. And yeah, that should be all she wrote. Boom. So. Yep, solid, solid. Just keep going through that. I don't care so much about what I'm getting points. I'm only really interested in seeing what's later out. Um, the problem at this point in the game is the fights just take so long. Um, like for random, they're not random encounters, but like they're actiony, but they're just long. I, I'd rather it was a turn-based affair, I think. And it took long because at least you then think and strategizing rather than just well you are strategizing to a degree with this, but um, it feels more like saying right I'm dying so I need to do this and then I adjust my tactic now to do this. I don't know it just doesn't suit my preferred way of working. I guess so I'm getting that. Um, if these two are together, I'll show them on screen. If not, I'll show it off. Right, it is. So this will be, should be interesting, actually. We've also got the jump on them. Um, if I can just do Ruingo and Blitz, possibly quickly. That'd be good. Come on, there we go. Then we'll just... I'm going to try and take the sacrifice out first, basically. Um, I know he's going to try and clear some buffs off everyone. Like a spine. But we can get him launched and he'll stop doing that. So, yeah. And then we'll let him assault for a turn. That should be him done. I said optimistically. No, not too optimistic. Well, not needlessly optimistically, but yeah, it's in the finishing. And then, oh, we did get this guy. Cool. So, if I just bully him a little bit, um, I should be able to quickly get some more Thanks. of these on him. Then maybe a quick turn of that. I don't think I'm going to quite get there, am I? No. Right. Uh, he's got quite a lot of HP, I guess. Um, but if we switch to Tri Disaster, yeah, because he doesn't, doesn't take much getting like um, getting this gauge built up there so let's do that for a turn and back to went this assault just a time constraint I guess as to why we didn't get him there um, first time around I'm a little disappointed at how straightforward they are but they look cool but yeah 21,000 and some perfume which I think is just a um, a loot item essentially like you can sell um, for much cash but, yeah, Road Across Side, another transformation catalyst, I believe at least. I think most of the ites are transformation catalysts, if not all of them. Um, okay, those two places, they go at the same place. Um, those two jump shots, they go at the same place. And um, we'll take these two on off screen, or these three off screen. Right, and yeah, let's just head up here, I guess. Um, with the next save point. I'm going to use the save point. I don't think we've done enough here to really wrap it up, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep going and see what this says at least. So if I go and examine him, we get another... Oh, we actually get transported to boss fight. Um, oh, this is the same as the one we had back in the summer. What a play, is it? Just with different... Like blue are enemies. So, yeah. But, nice um, Jabberwocky and Bandersnatch. I don't remember who that is, but um, it feels like a Roll Dali type jobby, but my brain's not with it tonight. Let's try and take Bandersnatch out first, though, I think. He seems like the smaller one. We still don't get anybody notices. He used to tell us all this stuff. They say you can find information out. I'm sure they've lost that. I keep doing that every other episode, complaining about it, but. Um, yeah. We'll work it out, I guess. Are they, actually, I should really be using Libra here. Um, choose one on Bandersnatch. 
and one on Jabberwocky. Then we'll have another look. Um, so let's go back to Bandersnatch as an attack at least. Um, and just, can we say anything? So they're both fairly okay. Like Jabberwocky's immune to elements. Bandersnatch is not. Um, but if we get it broken, I guess we'll be f doing pretty well. Um, I should probably switch after one more turn. Has that helped it out? It's, it's D. How about unhalved the damage? Now, if we go all out with this, should get him broken there. And I just want to start doing some damage, basically. If I can get, I'm gonna have to get him charged straight up to 999 if I can, and then or close to it, and go to relentless assault. Hopefully, it didn't get us too close to being dead. No. Okay. Right. I don't know. Maybe I'm doing this backwards. Feels like I might be doing this backwards. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. Let's try diversity for a turn. If he gets healed up, I'm definitely doing this backwards, but um, in the meantime, just go. Ooh, that looks nasty. Um, let's try and finish it off. So, yeah, because you definitely can't do that to him. You can't stop him from attacking either. Um, can I get a smite or something in here? No. But I can just keep going at him, I guess. So, let's try disaster again. He's still got his debuffs on, he's only got like 3000 HP, so even if we just get some basic attacks in, yeah. Right, let's get a turn of lens assault in against Jabberwocky. Um, and we should be able to get some debuffs in, I think, as well. So I'm going to switch to um, Bully, get, try and get some of them going. So we've got Deep Protect on him, that's good. Um, obviously, because it, <laughs> it's Deep Protect. Um, can you get some of the nice ones going there? He seems to be immune to attacks though, which is interesting. I'm guessing it's the other ones he's immune to. Um, but though it is sticking in his stagger gauge, so I don't mind too much. I guess we I might convalesce for a second because it's gonna hurt like hell. Um There we go, just heal, 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 heal. Right, back to try disaster before he runs out of that. I don't think any danger of it, but just keep going. Yep, there we go, staggered, right. Now, bully him. Just bully the heck out of him. Um, so that'll do. He's, is he still blocking these? It doesn't matter. He's dead. So... Eh, fine. No complaints there. Got a Star Blossom Seed for our trouble. And is it now going to all fall back into the Tesseract again? Then we're going to be another point. Seems a bit arbitrary, that, but... Whatever. Yeah, it's kind of my thoughts. Right. Not the secret to a long life. No. Oh, I was going to save there um, and wrap it up. Where Let's see what happens. Uh -huh. If there is one, I can't see it. No, it seems pretty infinite, this. but. All these safe for people once, like us. Not like us. We're That's awesome. That's what Bartanalus is going for. Yeah. Don't you see? Make us feel guilty. Lose faith. So we've got to keep killing them. It's focus time. Wait till we're broken. Slip on the leash. Ah. Yeah. Well, when you think about it, having all this empathy, it puts us humans at a big disadvantage. Yeah, stupid weak Maybe. humans. But it's also what makes us dangerous. And unpredictable. Far from fun. What's wrong? Oh, nothing. Just that time's running short. She's not dealing with it well. My mind's made up this time. Oh? We'll just make cocoon out of her. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds good. Yes, we will. That's that was a bit non-committal. Fang. Don't be playing with us. Right. So after that, I will wrap it up there, though. So, yep. Yeah, um. Hopefully we haven't got too much further to go um, in among the whole weirdness of this area, um, and yeah, we'll see. It. We'll see how we get on. Essentially, I'm, I'm just looking to see if it has a mark. Oh, okay, the mark is just down there for the next bit. But yeah, we'll, we'll head away up there the next episode. So yeah, thank you very much for watching, and hope you enjoyed it. I'll catch you soon with the next episode. So in the meantime, take care of yourself and have a good day. Bye.